Hi everyone, welcome back to Nursing Guru. Today we will be discussing about this topic, Community Health Nursing, Paper 1. According to BSC syllabus, there are total 7 chapters. Uh, unit 1 is about introduction regarding community health nursing. Unit 2 is about determinants of health. Unit 3 is about epidemiology and its uses and concept. Unit 4 is about em epidemiology and nursing management for common communicable disease condition. Unit 5 is about epidemiology and nursing management for common non-communicable disease condition. Sixth one, demographic and its data. Seventh one, population and its control. We will see what are the chapters that is to be noted in each units. First chapter that is introduction to community health nursing. In that specially we are concentrating or focusing on definition, concepts, uses of community health nurse and what are the purpose, what are the aims, what are their goals and specially we will be concentrating on the maintenance of health and promoting health towards community people. Unit 2 we will be describing or focusing on uh, especially determinants of health, those are dimensions and those are food hygiene, eugenics, eugenics is nothing but it is a science development where they do mutations and also plant breeding in a human gene with the help of genetics and hereditary. Also we will see environmental sciences and also we will see social cultural effects or influences uh, on health of people. Also we can uh, focus on the topics such as uh, regarding physical activity that influences on health and physical stress that influences on health. Third topic that is epidemiology where we focus on the definition, the aims, the concept of epidemiology. Also we will study the dynamic transmission of disease condition also known as epidemiological triad. Triad is nothing but it is a triangle relationship between agent, host and the environment. Fourth unit that is epidemiology and nursing management of communicable disease condition where we see certain disease condition which is transferred from one person to another person that is why it is known as communicable disease condition such as respiratory uh, infection, intestinal infection, arthropod infection, zoonosis and parasite infection, bacterial infection and surface infection. These are some kind of infections which can be transferred from one person to another person. Then unit 5 is about epidemiology and nursing management uh, for common non-communicable disease condition. This disease condition is not transmitted from an agent or not caused by an agent but also it is been affected by certain environmental factors towards the person lifestyle or towards the health of a person such as heart attack or heart disorders or any diabetes mellitus or sugar related problem. Also we can see certain uh, stress, mental illness or psychological problems and also we can see epilepsy, strokes. These all kinds of disease conditions are non-communicable disease condition which is occurred because of some environmental factors. Unit 6 is about demography where we study about definition, we study about uses and its scopes. Especially we see the methods of collection of data in demography and also we will see how to analyze this demographic data and also we can study uh, the interpretation of this demographic data. So in short demography is nothing but it is an incidence of any birth taking place in a community area. It is any incidence of death taking place in any uh, community area or an, any morbidity rate, any mortality rate in a community area. In, so demographic data uh, will be analyzed, also collected and also interpreted in certain methods. All these things will be studied in unit 6. So next unit is unit 7 that is population and its control which is very common and very easy to learn and very important to the community health nursing. Population and its control will be focused on uh, its population explosion, methods to control the population and also methods to control family planning. So the topics that is to be focused is methods of family planning, methods of contraception that is temporary and permanent and also emergency termination of 
pregnancy all these things are very important to learn in population and its control so these all topics are very important and also has certain weightage for the question paper so in question paper the pattern of the question paper for community health nursing paper 1 is like long essay that is 10 marks short essay that is for 5 marks and short answer that is for 2 marks so you can expect certain questions for this question paper according to the marks so long essay that is 10 marks two questions will be expected and in long essay you can expect from the topic regarding all the disease condition or nursing management towards those disease condition disease condition it may be from communicable disease or it may be from non communicable disease also you can expect from the topic of demography also you can ex expect from the topic food hygiene these are the things that you can expect questions uh, which may appear in long essay short essay th that is for 5 marks and the questions number of questions that comes on short essay are 7 that is uh, you can expect questions regarding programs or acts re regulating towards the food hygiene that means any acts that is helpful for food hygiene or to maintain health or to determine health all these questions will be expected also we, you can expect questions such as epidemiological triad or nursing management of any disease condition then you can expect life cycle of any agent of a disease condition such as mal mosquito for mal malarial disease also you can expect population control question answers like uh, methods of contraception or you can expect emergency terminal of contraception then for short answers the number of questions are 10 so it contains of 2 marks each question contains of 2 marks so it will be 20 marks so you can expect questions such as terminologies wherever it, it is necessary from the starting of introduction till the end po population and its control wherever you find out any terminology those terminologies are very important for short answers and also any acts which is re related to years in which year this act was found that kind of questions also can be asked or expected in the short answers so you can also focus on the definitions related to communicable disease and also nursing management or prevention of health towards those communicable disease so these are the expected questions that you can expect uh, from the topic of community health nursing paper one so far we discussed about community health nursing paper one any queries any doubts you can comment below thank you for watching